Hello. Welcome this evening to our 365-day daily devotional. And uh, I am Darlene Shelton. And today is July the 11th, 2018. And this is what our devotional has to say. Your competence comes from me. This means there is no place for pride in your achievements. It also means you are capable of much more than you think possible. The combination of your natural abilities and my supernatural empowerment is very effective. I have called you to live in joyful dependence on me. So don't hesitate to ask me for help. Make every effort to discern my will for you. Searching the scriptures and seeking my face. Also, seek wise counsel from other Christians. I will show you the way to go forward according to my wisdom and will. As my spirit to guide you along the pathway I have chosen for you. This holy helper will equip and empower you to achieve my purposes in life. Thank me for everything. The abilities I have given you, the opportunities before you, and my spirit enabling you to accomplish important things in my kingdom. Stay in communications with me. Enjoy my company as you journey along the path of life. In my presence is fullness of joy. Scriptures for today. July the 11, 2018. Not that we are competent in ourselves to acclaim anything for ourselves, but our competence comes from God. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 5. Glory in His holy name, let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Look to the Lord and His strength. Seek his face always. First Chronicles chapter 16, verses 10 through 11. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. In everything give thanks. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. You will show me the path of life, and your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalms chapter 16, verse 11. So that is our reading for July the 11th, 2018. I want to thank you all um, for tuning in and following. Um, I'm praying and hoping that this is helping someone to... um, be on the right path to to get on the right path with the Lord. Seek Him and ask Him to guide and help you. God's plan of salvation. First, you have to be taught the Word. And Romans ten fourteen, then you are to hear the Word. Mark twelve twenty nine, then you are to believe the Word. Hebrews eleven six, then you are to repent. Luke chapter thirteen verse three. Then you are to confess, Romans chapter 10, verses 9 through 10. Then after confession, then you move into action to be baptized for salvation and for remission of your sins. And that is Acts 2.38 and Acts 22, verse 16. After you are baptized, immersed in that water, you are added to the body of Christ, which is the church of Christ which is people belonging to Christ. Not just any people. Baptized believers and followers of Jesus Christ. So, then you live faithful unto death. Revelations chapter 2, verse 10. So, please get a hold of someone. Help them to know Jesus. Talk to them about what... Christ has done for you in your life, what the Father has done, the blessings that He gives you. So, and then for those who have fallen by the wayside, repent and be restored and added back to the body. 
And then for those who are seeking him, I pray that you will find him through prayer, through getting around those who are followers of Christ that you see that's living that life. Again, we're not perfect, but we can be Christ-like. As long as we're pleasing to God, then that's what counts. We are to please God. We are to be thankful, have a grateful attitude, be obedient, have a forgiving heart. Does not mean being used other than being used by God, but not by men. Um, just the fruits of the Spirit. You know, being meek and kind and loving. You know, so those things we need to make it in life to become Christ-like. So, I pray that you continue to read and study and show thyself approved to get understanding. As I do, I pray and ask God for understanding to help me to understand His words, the Scriptures, the Bible, the way He wants me to understand it, to open them up for me to understand. Um, because I too have to read and study and I too want to make it heaven one day. So, I'm hoping that by me sharing the word will help someone. So, you have a nice night. Until next time, remember, God loves you unconditionally. And there's nothing more than having the Lord love you unconditionally. And I love you as well. Good night.